What's up everyone, I'm LazyWolf, and welcome to Horror Tips Episode 6. This is the map, Blood Drive. I was very excited and looking forward to this map. I loved it in Gears 2. I don't know, I just... I just absolutely loved it. Uh, let's, let's talk about the bases. Uh, all bases on this map are basically amazing, except the one all the way down at the bottom. I mean, it's, it's still pretty good, but it's not as amazing as some of the other bases. Uh... When you're at the bases of the left and right, you have height advantages, and when you're at the bases in the bottom left and bottom right, you have indoors and frags, basically. Uh, this map is amazing. Over by the pistol spawns, uh, it's just a little room that you can hide out in. Uh, it was much more effective in Gears 2 than it was in in Gears 3, uh, probably because you weren't in Gears 2 you weren't being overrun by so many enemies. But uh, they also spawn there sometimes. Uh, this this is a great map to play Horde on. If you want to survive a very long uh, a very long time, I would suggest playing on this map. Uh, it it is in the Horde command pack though. In order to play Horde on it, you must buy it. Or as we, as me and my friends have found out that if you're a host and you have this map pack, you can host it. And no one else needs to have the map pack. You can just play it. I don't know if that's some sort of glitch or something they intended to do, or I don't know. But you can use that to your advantage with a couple of the new achievements that come that have come out. A couple of the achievements that are just there uh, that require on a map. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, next map is. Uh, Bullet Marsh. I'm not really looking forward to that map. There is an Easter egg which I will be showing. Uh, that's that's all I'll say. See you next time.